Now we'll start the lesson on uh, subjective pronouns in Farsi. Uh, the subjective pronouns uh, in Farsi they are, they are in two groups, uh, singular and plural, and they are six. So let's look at them. Man, I. To you, singular. U, he or she. There is no gender in Farsi, as you see. And uh, here we can say on for other than human being, for animals or you know plants. And then the plural group starts with ma, we, shoma, you plural, and anha they so there are some points uh, important to know about personal pronouns in farsi first so when for example we have a sentence like man the dam i saw you as you know we conjugate the verb in farsi so in fact the subject always in the is uh, in the verb so man is kind of optional even though in Farsi all uh, most of the time it's common to use both man didam but if you just say didam it's fine it means I saw man didam I saw didam I saw another point is that as you see uh, against English in Farsi we have a uh, uh, you singular and you plural so to is you singular and shoma is you plural but we use shoma a lot to refer to uh, to use it as a, as to to refer to just one person but it's and it's the sign of respect so it's used a lot that you know you address someone with shoma while he is or she is just one person but it's the sign of uh, respect Another thing uh, about per, uh, personal uh, subjective pronouns is the uh, pronoun ma. If you have a Persian friend, you will uh, see that uh, he uses uh, a lot of um, ma pronoun, more than enough. And the reason is that in Farsi, using ma instead of man is the sign of uh, being humble, humbleness. So uh, many times in Farsi, people refer to uh, themselves uh, instead of using man they use ma instead of saying man didam they say ma didim it's the sign of being humble and the last point is related to the third person uh, plural we have uh, we have uh, anha means they but there is another one that is uh, ishan ishan that uh, it can be used uh, uh, in a stuff on ha, but it is exclusively kind of it's used just to refer for uh, uh, third person uh, singular that is this, uh, this sign of being polite for example I want to refer to someone who is not here in a stuff saying that uh, ooh is not here I say ishan is it's a kind of referring to that person as a plural. It's the sign of being polite and respectful. So uh, first, the first point is that the subject is uh, repeated in the verb. Second, there is difference between you plural, uh, you singular and plural. And you plural is used as a sign of respect. And in Farsi, it's used a lot as the sign of being formal and respectful. The other one is using ma. Um, using ma uh, to refer to man as a sign of being humble and the last one is the ishan that is referring to a plural third person but it is mostly and you can say exclusively it's used to refer to u the third person singular as a sign of being polite and respectful 